A brand new adventure in Sea of Thieves, a hunter's cry is now available and revolves around Merrick and bringing him back from the Sea of the Damned. Hi, my name is Cyrex and today I'm going to guide you through the full hunter's cry adventure. To start your adventure, head to Lorina who is located at every outpost tavern. Talk to her and select begin adventure. Lorina will then tell you to visit a pirate lord at the docks. Now head to the pirate lord and talk to him. After talking for a moment, he is going to open a portal into the Sea of the Damned. This adventure is perfectly made for two or more players, but it is also very easy to do it as a solo, it just takes a bit more time to complete it. Even if the pirate lord advises you to stock up or buy supplies, they are not really needed in this adventure and you can find plenty of cannonballs and food on the island the adventure takes place at. If you are ready to go, raise your anchor and sail into the portal. While you are in between the Sea of Thieves and the Sea of the Damned, the pirate lord will once again spawn, talk to you and give you more information about the adventure. After arriving at the Sea of the Damned, you can either sail straight towards the Middle Island or sink three ghost ships to complete one of the deeds. If you defeat the ghost ships, they will respawn, so there is no way of getting completely rid of them. Your ship is not really needed in this adventure and you don't have to keep an eye on it or prevent it from sinking, just try to follow this guide and stay alive during the adventure. Once you're close to the islands, make your way to the southern lighthouse tower. At the docks beneath the tower, you will find a brazier with the flame of souls inside. Take out your lantern and grab the flame of souls from the brazier. Now make your way towards the steps beneath the lighthouse and light up the two braziers, which will open the lighthouse door for you. Climb up to the top and ignite the lighthouse. Defeat the ghost and point the lighthouse beam towards the big brazier on the middle island. Now move on to the eastern lighthouse tower, light up the two braziers beneath the steps, climb up to the top, ignite the lighthouse and point the beam towards the second big brazier on the middle island. After both of the braziers are lit, the dock of the middle island will appear. Now make your way onto the middle island until you find the block capstan. To unblock it, you have to light up every brazier with the flame of souls. Just repeat what I'm doing and you will be good to go. Once the capstan is unblocked, raise it and go up the stairs until you will end up at a half destroyed bridge. Close to the bridge you will find another brazier, light it up and a big brazier will be revealed on the other side. To activate it and restore the bridge you have to go back to the eastern lighthouse and point its beam onto the brazier. Note that there are a couple of checkpoints in form of ladders available, so you don't have to go across the whole island every time. Now cross the bridge and follow the path until you will end up at a broken mast. Next to the mast you will find another brazier. 
which is also going to reveal another big brassiere once it has been lit up. To activate this brassiere and continue the path, you will have to go to the Northern Lighthouse. The Northern Lighthouse is exactly the same as the other two and requires you to light the two brassiers beneath the stairs and ignite the lighthouse. Point its beam onto the big brassier on the middle island and head back to continue your path. Shortly after, you will find yourself once again at a dead end with a brassier, which is also going to reveal another brassier on the other side once it's lit up. Go back to the Northern Lighthouse and move the beam left towards the brassier. Now go back to the middle island once again and cross the bridge. The last thing you have to do before you reach Merrick is to interact with the capstan to lower the drawbridge. After that is done, go and talk to Merrick. After a short sequence with Merrick and the Pirate Lord, you will be spawned on your ship and travel back to the Sea of Thieves. But the Pirate Lord will ask you to do one last favor for Merrick and him. To get more details about this favor, you have to visit Lorina again. Upon speaking to her, she will hand you a letter from Merrick to deliver it to his wife at the North Star Sea Post. The North Star Sea Post is located next to Cannon Cove and below Lone Cove in H10. Sail towards the sea post and talk to the woman on the dock to complete the adventure. There are 6 deeds available to complete for this adventure to earn the Defender of the Damned title. All 6 deeds are very easy to achieve and are almost already completed after you finish the whole adventure. To complete the first deed, you have to enter the Sea of the Damned. The second deed is completed after you light a lighthouse beacon. To complete the third deed, you have to defeat three ghost ships as I mentioned previously. The fourth deed is completed after you lower the drawbridge with the capstan. The fifth deed after you rescued Merrick. And the last deed will be completed once you have delivered a letter to Merrick's wife. Thank you so much for watching, if you found this video helpful make sure to leave a like, subscribe for more and I will see you next time.